hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels and um, also if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle channel today I'm going to be doing um, travel news UK 5 exciting facts March 2001 part 7 so just before we get into it if you subscribe to my channel it's um, the red and white subscription button also click the notification bell so you never miss um, a video also on my tra tra um, travel channel uh, you can uh, click um, the membership level if you want to join my memberships um, and they start from just 99 pence so I hope everybody's having a good day as possible um, in the Midlands it is um, sunny outside um, has been a bit warmer th now than um, earlier on in the, the day um, it's nice to see the sun <laughs> sunshine so um, I'm going to jump right into it um, anyway now um, Number one, BBC News, uh, COVID 5,000 fine uh, for people going on holiday abroad when, again, this sh it shouldn't be unless, obviously, you've got a very good reason like a funeral uh, business, um, but if or seen someone in hospital if you've got a good reason to go and visit but if you haven't and you're just going for a vacation then um you'll be given five thousand fine unfortunately a five thousand fine uh, for anyone in england trying to travel abroad without good reason and um, is due to come in force next week and um, as part of the new contravirus laws foreign holidays are currently not allowed under the stay at home rule uh, which ends on monday but even then after monday you will still not be able to travel ab abroad um, unless again uh, th that you've got good reason for um say, say business or um or to see someone in hospital to attend a, um, a funeral or wedding etc um And it comes um, as um, really Prime Minister Boris Johnson said um, it was too early to, to set out new foreign travel rules uh, for the summer and um, it comes as another surge in Covid cases in Europe as well as slow roll out of the vaccines across Europe so again it is definitely for the best um in my opinion um prime minister hopes to uh, say more on foreign travel by the 5th of april 2021 um but um, at the moment or as of monday you still won't be able to travel ab abroad unless it's um for good reason um number two um unfortunately the tui group confirms at uh, new uk shop closures it's devastating news um my heart goes out to all the people again that work in um the retail and travel industry um it it's so difficult at court at the moment um and um, i hope these people uh, get back into work as soon as possible um 
Tiri Group has confirmed it will close a further 48 shops across the UK as COVID-19 pandemic continues. Uh, breaking travel news, that's according to breakingtravelnews.com. As COVID-19 continues to hit the travel sectors, the location of shops um, wasn't revealed. So, um, again, if if you did work in or watching uh, this um, channel and you did work uh, for Tui or another travel agent shop and it has shut down, then... Um, I really do feel sorry for you and hopefully you'll be able to get um, either work from home or get another job as soon as possible. Um, number three, um, which is good news, Radisson signs a, a new property at Gatwick Airport. Wow, um, that's according to breakingtravelnews.com. I hope it goes as well as possible. Um, Unite confirmed Heathrow strike plans for April 2021. Breakingtravelnews.com. It's absolutely, again, awful. Um, and obviously, I hope those people that are striking, I wish them the best of luck. Um, but um, again, the government needs to think what's best for everybody, um, really. Moving on, last but not least, what you, uh, what can I do March, on March the 29th, which is this Monday coming, and this is uh, from Leeds slash Line dot co dot uk what um how covid lockdown rules will change in england restrictions on meeting friends and playing sports are about to change another set of contravirus restrictions are set to be from the 29th of march as a we move further along Boris Johnson's roadmap out of lockdown. Yes, uh, next Monday will mark the second stage of step one on the mo roadmap and it comes nearly after two weeks after restrictions sort of to be lifted with children returning to school yes yeah, so that's really good again for anybody that's uh, got children um the lockdown stay at home ends on monday the 29th of march this means people will be able to go outdoors for non-essential reasons yes um however there uh, will still be restrictions in place and uh, those who uh, can work from home should do so um, international travel will not be um, permitted along with non-essential overnight stays outside your household from March the 29th outdoor gatherings up to six people or two households will be allowed uh, that means uh, groups bigger than six people can meet as long as they're from a maximum of two households groups can meet anywhere outdoors including the garden of someone's home or parks etc uh, those who uh, do not live together must continue to maintain a so safe social distance from each other you can play sports outdoor again including golf uh, from march the 29th 2001 outdoor sport facilities like tennis courts basketball courts golf course can reopen yes that's really good news for people that like to do, uh, to do sport or thinking of taking up a sport and um, people can uh, use these 
venues in a group of six or members up to two households organized sport like football can also return yes that's really good news um will shops pubs hairdressers and gyms be able to open on the 29th of march unfortunately no because not at the moment non-essential retail um and personal care services like barbers and hairdressers are not to, due to return until the 12th of April, um, unfortunately, uh, when step two of the roadmap is due to begin. Hospitality businesses like bars and cafes will be allowed to be open to serve customers sitting outside from the 12th of April. Um, so again, there's a lot of good news, especially if you like to spend out, uh, play outdoor sports or uh, meet up it with a group of friends outdoor. Um, so um, I would like to say um, thank you for watching and I hope you're having as good day as possible and or I hope you've had a good day as possible and um, my next uh, travel vlog is uh, tomorrow at 6.30 and it's going to be a, 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 a basically 10 exciting brand new facts worldwide uh, part 8 so please stay tuned for that and I hope um, everybody has as good day as possible and bye for now thank you bye